should understand this unless you were out last week when we had the quiz on this. All right, but all this stuff is also on your test. Uh, you're probably going to have a page that's going to look just like this page on your test. All right, so let's start above number 12. Parent graph is x squared. Y'all should know what it looks like. What's it look like? Parabola, right in the center. What if you don't know what it looks like? Plug it in your calculator. Graph it. It'll show you what it looks like. No, no. Hey, but you shouldn't miss many on the back, should you? All right, we're good, Samar. You got the first one then. All right, start on 12. We got three things that are going to change. Plus one, where does that shift? Up one or down one? Up one, what else? See the right three or left three? Right three. Right three. Last change, we got a negative in front. What does the negative make it do? Um, flips it. We should remember that. That was only a week ago. So up one, right three, put a point, and then I got to flip it, but I got to draw it the same size and shape as the original one. All right, next one. Down to, now look, this time, guys, we don't have parentheses, so I get to skip the part about going right and left. So this one's going to be compressed. Why is this one compressed? You got a fraction. Anytime you got a fraction, you compress it, make it fast. So to graph it, we go down on two. All right, how come we don't have to flip this one? No negative. So we got to compress it, which makes it really fast. All right, so y'all can do 14. All right, so these first three should be really. All right, so we start in the back. That's up three, because it was plus three. Left two. Now, look, you got to flip it because you got a negative. But this one, if it's got an integer, a regular number, an integer, it's going to stretch it, make it skinny. Fractions make it fat. And it just make it skinny. So up three, left two, and I make it skinny. All right, so we should be good on those. All right, 15, 16, and 17, we should be good on. The only one you should miss on the back is 18. 18, we haven't done many of. Some of y'all still don't understand it. 15, 16, and 17, we should be good. Let's go to 15. All right, number 15, you have to factor the top. How can you look at this problem and know it's going to be a line with a hole? How, do you, how, how can you look at it and know it's going to factor? It's got an x squared on the top. If I give you one like this for the next squared, you're going to factor it and it's going to be a line with a hole. You don't have to do the VA and the HA on this one, remember. All right, y'all factor the top. Everybody should be able to factor the top. And then we'll do our crossing out. All right, so y'all should have, let's see, that's x plus 3 and x minus 2. All right, so the x plus 3s cancel out. The only one that's left over that I haven't marked out is x minus 2. You've got to bring that one down. Now let's graph that. Where's your starting point? Negative 2. What's my rise over run, Hunter? 1 over 1. So y'all draw a bunch of these points. Up 1 over 1, going up and down. All right, last step. You gotta find your hole. Now, where does the hole come from? The hole is made by what you marked out. So look, we marked out x plus three, right? When you move that over, it's gonna make it a negative three. So our hole is gonna be a negative three. Follow it down. There's your hole. All right. That's how you do fifteen. They might even be numbered the same. Tomorrow morning, 15 might be exactly like this. I'll pass. Open that up. All 
All right, let's go to 16. If y'all got a question, let me know. All right, 16 is different because we can't factor the top. We got to find a VA and an HA. All right, does anybody remember how do we find the VA? Take the bottom, set it equal to zero. All right, now what? Take minus three, move it over, that's a positive three. Somebody divide that for me, let's make it a decimal. What's that gonna give you? 1.5. So everybody, use your color, go to 1.5, put a dotted line. All right, that's the easy part. The HA is supposed to be the hard part, the horizontal. You guys remember what to do if you got an X on top and bottom? Divide them, yeah. Six divided by two is Y equals three. So put a dotted line now at three. All right, there's one more thing we have to do. We've got to pick four numbers that we can plug in so we can graph this. Y'all remember how we pick our numbers? Two on the left, two on the left. Two on the left, two on the right. Let me show you what I mean. Two on the left of the dotted line is zero and one. Two on the right of the dotted line, two and three. So zero, one, two, and three. Plug them in your calculator now, and your calculator will give you the answer. Let's see what you got. If you plug in zero, you're going to get zero. If you plug in one, Y'all get negative six. Y'all help me doing that in my head. All right. If you plug in two, get 12. Sounds kind of big. If you plug in three, how about positive six? Okay, so let's grab it. Zero, zero is right in the middle. That one's easy. Over one, down six is right here. Over two, up 12. That's way off my graph. I'm just going to estimate right there is good enough. Over three, up six is right here. So I got a curve inside my dotted line over there and inside my dotted line over there. All right, let's go to 17. sheets from yesterday, Katie. Just flip it over, we'll do it in the back. All right, how do we find the uh, VA on 17? What, what's the VA? Just shout it out for me. Negative 4. X equals negative 4. Go to negative four, put a dotted line. All right, now this is a part y'all might have forgotten. Back on 16, you got an X on top and bottom, you just divide. We don't have an X on top on this one. So what is it? It's automatically zero. Y equals zero. Dotted line is zero. And our last step, plug in your four points. Two on the left is negative five, negative six. Two on the right is negative three, negative two. And y'all can do the rest by yourself. Y'all finish that and I'll help you on 18. Up on on the back. All right, so look, our first part of this problem is broken up into three parts. Our first part, you got to know what absolute value of x looks like. Now, you should know that, but if you forgot it, just plug it in your calculator. All right, what does it look like? It's a v. You're supposed to know it's a v up one over one on both sides. All right, now, this is the part I'm worried about y'all messing up on. What does this mean right here? It means start at negative 3. Stop at positive three. Circles, open or closed? Closed. 
the close. Now look, if it was just negative 3 less than x less than 3, that would be open. But with the equal signs under them, we've got to close them up. All right, so here's how you do it. Go to negative 3, shade in your circle. Go to positive 3, shade in your circle. Our lines, everything in between. Erase what's not in between. Question, let me know. All right, next one, y equals x minus 2. The next one should be easy to graph. Where do I start? What's my starting point? Negative 2, so I start right here with a big point. And once I rise, I run. 1, so I go up 1 over 1. So I got all these points going that way, and all these points going that. All right, that's the easy part. This is the hard part right here. What does this tell us to do? Go to zero, put a closed circle. Here's zero, closed circle right there, big closed circle. All right, last part. Do I draw my line on the right of the circle or the left of the circle? Basically, you just look at your sign. Points to the right, line goes to the right. Make sure you erase the points down on the left. Anybody got a question on that part? All right, well, y'all should go do the last one by yourself. Y equals X minus 1, do that one. Y equals X minus 1, got a starting point at negative 1, finish it up. <coughs> So you should have started here. I go up one over one, so points going that way and this way. All right, they want to. Hey, did I mess that up? Is that less than or less than or equal to? Yeah, I don't know why. All right, so it should be like that. So, shaded in circle at zero, right there. This time I shade to the left. Line to the left, erase to the right. All right, that is your final graph on number 18. All right, so there's only one of those in the morning on the test. I am worried about you messing up on that one. All right, so we're going to flip it over. We're going to do the bottom problems on the front. I'm going to help you do 11 and 9 and let y'all do the other three. And then we'll take a bathroom break. So let's do number 11 first. All right, let's flip it over. All right, now, I did not give y'all much room at all to do these five problems. You may need to have a sheet of paper. I've got some up here on the shelf if you need some. I'll bring you some. Who needs some? What number do you doing? I'm going to do 11 first. Take some, send some to Alex. Anybody else? Anybody else? All right, so we put one-third in the box, right? One-third in the box. All right, Samari, this has got a special step on this problem, something I've got to do before I can bring my numbers down. Good, divide by three. Does everybody understand that? You don't divide by one-third. You only divide by the bottom number. Six divided by three, it brings down a two. Then one-third. Then negative 31 over three. And then ten-thirds. Leave a space, draw your line. All right, I should be able to stop here and let y'all finish it. All right, to start this problem, you always bring down the first number. All right, so y'all should have two-thirds here. Then add them up on your calculator, right? Should be one, I think, doing it in my head. Then you get a one-third here, add them up on your calculators, negative ten, then negative ten-thirds. All right, I know I'm right because the last column canceled out. Do quadratic formula now with that, see what you get. Negative one plus or minus, I got one minus four times eight times nineteen over four. All 
All right, somebody help me. What did y'all get inside the square root symbol on this one? So it was 81 that changed to 9. Gotcha. Negative 1 plus or minus 9 over 4. All right, now we got to find both answers. So first answer, use the plus sign. I got 8 over 4, which is 2. Second answer, use the minus sign. I got negative 10 over 4, which is negative 5 over 2. All right, so 11 wasn't a big deal. Should have been able to do 11. All right, the other one I'm going to help you with that I'm going to sit down is number nine. Everybody go ahead and start on number nine. All right, Laney, what do I divide everything by on number nine before I bring them down? Two. Good, divide them by two, so I bring down one, negative one half, nine, and negative nine over. All right, so I got to here. I think most everybody's got to here, right? So this will not factor. So I'm trying to factor. Now, if it was x squared minus 9, it would factor. That's the difference of squares. This will not factor. You've got to use quadratic formula, and this is where first block has some trouble. See if y'all can do quadratic formula on this one. Let's check. y'all get inside the square root symbol? Looks like negative 36. Is that right? Yeah. All right, so what's the square root of negative 36? 6i. Don't forget your i on that one. That's what gives y'all trouble. So it's 0 plus or minus 6i over 2. Now, you're not going to be able to find the answers because you've got an i, but there is one thing we can always do. What is it? Divide by 2. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. All right, so you guys finish uh, the last three at the bottom right here. Seven, eight, ten.